She was young when it happened, barely years old, when my mother only mentions it once every few years. For a moment, the window will click open, the air buzzes with sudden light, and then same old radio silence. My mother is a wire woman, steel cables holding the whole city's telephone secrets, the weight of histories that are spoken sideways into receivers. We are a flock of sparrows perched along her tightrope spine. She was years old when a mine shaft through the static come rumors of how she was forged in furnaces, drawn tight through pinholes, stretched between the twin poles of old and new countries, marveling that the voices she carried flapped in such strange accents. These days, her nerves are tangled up like the guts of time-tick explosives, red wire, blue wire nights, where we learn to tiptoe talk around the house. She was years old when mind shaft, strength braces, she has iron claws wrapped around a crooked teeth family. She holds us up. We cling for dear life, our talons digging into her shoulders so that her electric bites back, lightning insides leaking out, snapping like feedback screeches when our frequencies scrape against one another. She was years old with mine shaft of a home, strength of braces pulled to its feet. Wire woman. Stretched thin all her life, left her frayed in a few places. Crooked sentences fuzzing out, her story darkened with censor blackout holes. She is a string of legends hanging like constellations upon a sky of silence. Oh, that this night would break and her stormlight ring through. She was 16 years old when her own mother died and left her a mine shaft of a home. And so to claw her way out of the debris, my mother grew adamantium tendons. My mother grew adamantium tendons, set things straight with the strength of braces, pulled a household to its feet, and our heart became a chain link place. I know her past only through the shapes of its reverberations, telegraph operator tick ticking away somewhere 40 years ago. She speaks like a radio tower bombed into static rubble, but still standing, still broadcasting her frayed and splintered love through a web of steel cords wide enough to embrace the city, sparking life into its walls, sending the humming ripples of mouths barreling through miles of copper tunnels and into waiting ears. Over the telephone, her voice comes through, thin and full of holes. Make sure plenty of sleep, I, you. And as always, she speaks loudest in her silences.